Hey dudes, welcome to Two Dudes One Couch. Hey there, shit. Corey took a hit. That's okay. Um, I picked up the so, line. So, so what happened was that we want to beat this in this episode. We actually did not use cheats or anything. No, what happened was is uh we were playing this boss and I the game reset. I jacked it up, and so had to start over from that uh boss that was a pain in the ass initially. Not the spaceship, but the one right before that one. And uh had to play all the way back to here. Yeah, and I did a lot had, better. He had total concentration. There was no let's play going on, so he uh, he whooped that ass, got all of the life, got all of the uh, all one the ups. Life, all the one ups. And dude, now you're doing it, dude. It won't be on this one, I don't think. But well, uh, that's okay, cause now we're giving the episode some time. I would like it to be at least five minutes before you whip this boss's ass. Dude. Yeah, that'd probably be good. So I'm if I'm losing on purpose, that's the. Uh, <laughs> That's the whole thing. Yeah. And honestly, these are really good conditions for yeah. it. Uh, if I can't beat it like this, man. Dude, and you gotta just treat every hit like it's your last hit, dude. Don't take any hits if you don't have to. Alright, I'll try. It's hard. Once you get in that mindset, you're like, I can take a few. Maybe that's the mindset, dude. Maybe that's what's been killing you this whole time. I think I just need to be totally quiet. Okay. <laughs> We might need a few moments of silence for okay. this one. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give it a moment of silence on this run. Yeah, I hate to do it, but <clears throat> I'm struggling. We'll see what man. happens. I hate that I get hit there every time. This one goes up. You're doing a horrible job of being silent. <laughs> I'm I'm talking it through to myself, dude. We're gonna that face is ridiculous in the background. This neighborhood, man, is ridiculous to record in. <laughs> dog across the street. Which, now I'm sympathetic he's, to the dog. Uh, he's, he's just right next door. Yeah, now now we're kind of feeling bad. I, I looked out the window at the dog, and he's definitely just tied up on that porch out there. He's in prison. Dog prison. Yeah. Those people don't give a shit, man. And I mean, you guys have probably seen enough episodes to know that I bitch about that dog all the time. So just know that every single time that I bitch about that dog... He's been tied up back there on that back porch. That shit is wrong. That's so wrong. Like, I feel I feel kind of bad that I bitched about him so much and never really took a look at the dog out there. Ah, I just it. assumed that he was a happy dog like our dog, and they just never put him inside. And they have a sizable backyard. Yeah, but he's chained up back there for presumably no good reason. Yeah, and the, the our backyard, like, you've seen our backyard before. It's pretty big. A decent sized backyard, and theirs is uh, probably roughly the same size as ours. Yeah, that sucks right there. That hit gets me every time, and it's fenced in, dude. You can't trust your dog not to like jump the fence or try to run away from you. You need to be outside with it and then bring it inside. And it's you know, it's been like cold and rainy for the last few days. Yeah. Kind of making it even worse, dude. I'm really... I don't know if he was in overnight or if it was if he was out overnight the other dude, night, but it was. I mean, it was like 25 degrees. <laughs> he, I can I can say with confidence that dog barks throughout all hours of the night. So I'm guessing it never goes in. Oh well, then it was absolutely. I mean, if it was barking overnight the other night, probably because it was I, cold. I can't <laughs> say for sure, but I can say I'm pretty certain that it doesn't go in, and that sucks, dude. I'm feeling for that dog, dude. Really bringing this boss fight down to a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Happy finale of Bucky O'Hare, probably, hopefully. There's right, a few dude. key things I need to learn how to dodge. That, that one, that one's a good one to learn. Uh, there's, I mean, I've got most of them down. This one's always over. This one's always just up a little from there. You know. There's one that, there's just a couple that I don't know how to deal with. So far, pretty decent run, though, dude. Now that, see, that's a two hit every time. Up and over. Easy. Then straight up. See? He does the same things once it gets to... There's just one I don't know how to deal with. That was just too fast. Yeah, that, see, that's a tough one. It's 
Sorry guys, I know this isn't necessarily the exciting finale you were hoping for. <laughs> I just am so into winning. The idea of winning. Sweet victory. Especially after having to fight those two bosses again. Holy smokes, dude! Yeah, he takes a lot of hits. That's a lot of fucking hits! I always get hit right here at the beginning, too. I don't know how to deal with this. That was better. Still got hit, but... Up just a little. Down and under. And oh, See, I need to slow down. I'm getting too... Two ants in my pants. Yeah, man. Is he even getting hit? What the hell's happening? All right. I just don't know how many times I can hit him before uh, I start to lose my shit. It's so precise on that one, dude. That's weird. He didn't throw one. I was really expecting it. Oh, damn, dude. <sighs> We're trying to be quiet. But man. Dude, I think starting off on Buck is the way to go. Yeah. I don't think the few hits I get with Chunky Boy make that much of a difference. And I can save a couple hits. And this one is just a tad up from there, at, and I got to figure out how to get around that. We got it, man. We got it, dude. Super exciting finale <sighs> of total concentration. Uh, if you want to talk about cool cartoons or something, well, <laughs> um, well, well, I guess I could talk about some cool '90s and. Or the 2000s cartoons that I really enjoyed on Saturday mornings. What was like? That? I enjoyed Bucky O'Hare. I was about to say, how good was Bucky O'Hare the cartoon? I've never. It was amazing, seen dude. It. I fucking loved it. You know what we could talk about is how Boomerang's on Verve now. Yes, we can talk about that, dude. And every single episode of Scooby Doo is is on Verve. And I don't know if you guys are big fans really? of Scooby Doo or not, but I'm a huge fan of Scooby Doo. And uh, it's about to have an exclusive Scooby Doo show that's only going to air there. Let me pull up the Wikipedia on that so I can read that off to you. Dude, that's super sick, man. What else has Boomerang got? Boomerang's for the old cartoons, yeah? Oh, no, it's got newer stuff, too. It's got, like, Courage and stuff like that on it. Oh, that's pretty sick. I didn't know that. Yeah. So let's see. Let me see. Scooby Doo. It's called Scooby Doo and Guess Who? coming out next year. Dude, I did it. You freaking did it, dude? Holy shit, man. You did it, man. On the last life. God, that feels good. Oh, nice, man. Oh, that's got to be the very end, right? That's the end. It's got to be it. We got to watch the credit roll, though. Bucky O'Hare and his bald crew disable the Toad Mothership and escape with their lives. The Toad War! <laughs> oh, my God. The Righteous proudly flies again the toad menace will not be stopped with one victory the fight will go <laughs> oh no I didn't need to hear that Bucky O'Hare and his crew won't rest until the an anniverse is free see what they did there yeah that's pretty good let's croak toads dude I croak my toad all the time <laughs> I hate toads even more now. There you go, dude. Let's keep talking about Scooby Doo for a minute. Let's watch uh, yeah. whatever they're giving us so here. So I, I just, yeah, I just want to run down this uh, this Scooby Doo and guess who. So um, of course, you know we have our our solid cast of people playing Scooby Doo. Matthew Lillard, of course, is Shaggy. Nice. He's been Shaggy since the movies, uh, which is pretty great. He does a good job. We have Kevin Conroy as Batman. Uh, Ricky Gervitis is himself. Uh, Halsey, ha Halsey, 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 yeah, that's herself. 
Nice. And Ricky Gervais is in it too? Yeah. That's Mark sweet. Hamill as himself. Bill Nye as himself. Dude, what is this show? I love it already. Chris Paul as himself. Sia as herself. Keenan Thompson as himself. Neil deGrasse Tyson as himself. And Jaleel White as Steve Urkel. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Urkel's gonna be in it, dude. Yep. So oh it's one, God. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least ten episodes. I don't know if multiple characters will appear on episodes or not. But um That is a freaking sick. So what's the premise of the show? Do you know? Does it say anything about that? Um uh, I'm Scooby super interested. and Guess Who is an upcoming American animated television series and the thirteenth animated series in Scooby Doo in the Scooby Doo franchise by Hanna Barbera. Uh, and produced by Warner Bros. Animation. The studio will be produced, uh, or the show will be produced by Chris Bailey. And premise is Scooby-Doo and Guess Who focuses on Mystery Inc. gang as they solve bigger mysteries while also encountering many memorable celebrities uh, just like in the new Scooby-Doo movies, which that's an oldie and that was a really good one. I, I fucking love it. Nice. Um, Guest stars. I read off all the guest stars that were announced so far. I love that it's a Scooby Doo and Batman again, but with Kevin Conroy. Because mm-hmm. I remember uh, they had there was a, there's a Scooby Doo uh, and Batman movie already. Uh huh. But uh, this one's I don't know. This is really cool. So also this says uh, along with fictional characters such as Steve Urkel, Batman, Sherlock Holmes, The Flash, and Wonder Woman. <laughs> Dude. That's freaking sick. Yeah, you tell me, dude. That that doesn't sound amazing. When does that start? I gotta see uh, it. It just says 2019. Okay, we got some time. So not very long, maybe. I'm I'm super. I, I haven't watched Be Cool Scooby Doo yet. I need to watch that one. I did watch the full series before Mystery Incorporated, which I highly recommend that people check out. Oh yeah, it is way better than anybody could ever give it credit for. It is a very very good cartoon, and it's episodic, uh, or uh. Like, it's not just a bunch of one-shots. So, like, it it follows a a story throughout the series? Yeah, it follows a story all the way through. Interesting. And it is very good. And what's that one? Uh, That's called Mystery Incorporated. Okay. There is one after it called Be Cool Scooby-Doo, which I will be checking out soon, now that it's on Boomerang. Um, Yeah. I I can't wait for that show, dude. I'm (laughs) super excited. I didn't think I'd be stoked about Scooby-Doo, but that's got me pretty excited. Dude, I was was watching... uh, some of the, the original uh, Scooby-Doo Where Are You uh, from 1969. <laughs> nice. It was it was good, dude. There's a laugh track in there that I totally forgot about and they laugh at parts that aren't even funny. Like, like it's like, like you'll see eyes or the the, the monster move up behind them and <laughs> yeah. then the laugh track goes off. Like, what the hell? That's not... That's not funny. What are you trying to make, make children feel less scared? Yeah. I don't know. It, it still holds up, though. It's really good. I'm gonna watch I, it, I'm dude. I'm gonna binge fan. some Scooby Doo tonight. Yeah, dude. I, I, re- dude. You should start Mystery Incorporated. You will not regret it, dude. I kind of. And you will laugh, dude. You will laugh. Oh, I'm in. I'm all in. Especially for a series that uh puts a laugh track over dumb stuff. Like doesn't take uh-huh. itself too seriously. That's smart. That was yeah. forward thinking. They were ahead of their time yeah. with that. Oh, that's the original stuff. So if you go back to that, original, oh yeah. That's I what mean, I'm I can't. I can't say anything bad about the original stuff. Dude, look. The victory screen. Yeah, nice. We dude. made the it. The end. I'm still not convinced Chunky Boy's not a girl. Yeah, but Chunky, I, Chunky Boy's a boy. I've never watched a cartoon, so. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Which one were you? Which one are you interested in seeing? I want to watch the old one again. Yeah, but it's, it's totally worth it, dude. I, it's been a long time since I watched Scooby Doo, so I'm all in. Yeah, but I'll watch the new one too. If, if you want to see something, you know, like you, you're feeling something a little more modern, a little, a little good, you know. Mystery Incorporated, I highly recommend it. I freaking loved it. There was no way that Cat was ever going to like a Scooby Doo show, especially when we first started. And I was like, you got to check out Mystery Incorporated because I hadn't finished it yet. Oh, okay. And uh, we popped it on, and she was hooked. Dude. She was hooked, dude. Um, I am interested to check it out just for the uh, story throughout. Like, if it's doing a story from episode to episode throughout the series, uh, one solid story. That sounds cool. I didn't think Scooby Doo. There, there would... are one shot monsters and stuff in there, and then like the story continues with them solving more cases. But I cannot recommend it enough, dude. Yeah, I'll check it out, man. I, I everybody should check it out. Mystery All right, guys, Incorporated that's, is really good. That's the homework. Uh, 
And uh, so check out a few episodes, and on one of the videos, let us know what you thought about yeah, it. Yeah, and or come back to this one and tell and us. And definitely, you know, check out that old stuff. It's still good. It holds up. I I quite enjoyed it. And then uh, be on the look for Scooby Doo and Guess Who. So if you got Verve or the Boomerang app, dude, it is pure value right check now. Check that out. It is pure value. And hey, but uh, thanks for watching us. Yeah. Now go watch some Scooby Doo or check out some of our backlog. We got a lot a lot of things going on. Uh, on this channel all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and also, we have links in the description to Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And yeah, uh, talk tons, to us. Let us know. Can... Uh, let us know your opinion on Scooby Doo and on Bucky O'Hare and uh, uh, all that good stuff. We're listening. We want to talk to the subscribers and the non-subscribers. <laughs> but uh, guys, I hope I didn't let you down too much. Thanks for watching. Hit a subscription bell. We'll see you next time. Game, Game over. over. That's the end of. Bucky O'Hare! It was a legacy, dude, but I did it. <laughs>